Hi, hi, Genki Call here with the answer to a question for you. And that is, is the hero pass worth it? If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you click on this button right here, or you can click on your hero and then this button here, and then click on hero level. This in here is the hero pass, all of this locked content here on the right hand side. So if you're over level 100, you will have already unlocked all of this stuff and you can collect the, click the collect next button and you'll get all of the free stuff that is listed here. Um, I obviously have already collected all that and now I am going to purchase the hero pass and show you exactly what you will get with your five dollars. So I'm gonna click here. You cannot see my pop-up, which is okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I may have to do something on my phone. No, it looks like it worked. All right, hero pass owned. So if you've already collected everything free, the purchased the five dollar purchase will get you the following items. Dum dum da seven hundred and fifty rits. Come on. Seven hundred and fifty rits, fifty war coins, five treasure maps, seven hundred and fifty shards, one thousand two hundred gems, which is the best value you will ever find at this point for gems in this game. 2 gem keys, 18 adventurer's keys. Ooh, I like that because I don't have all of the new trips yet. 1700 souls, 20,000 gold, 350 glory, 20 white pet food, 100 chaos shards, 3 um, useless ingots, 5 more useless ingots, 2 imperial deeds, Talayo and Sir Quentin Hadley. Sir Quentin Hadley is actually very useful because he will give all night allies a 50% mana start. And he is a double converter, purple gems to yellow and green gems to skulls. Actually, Talayo is very useful as well if you're run running a team that uses all, all of them use yellow or all of them use green because if you just choose one of those colors, you'll enchant your entire team and um, give them six mana, which is very nice. So she is super useful, especially like for Guild Wars um, or those monotone, monotone, monochrome teams. Now, the reason that this is worth it to me, 1200 gems, which I can really use right now, and two Imperial Deeds. If this these Imperial Deeds weren't there, I would not have been as tempted. But, um, you know, it is a very good value just for the gems alone. So for me, it was worth it, especially since I'm not worrying, uh, excuse, excuse me, since I am not purchasing this campaign pass with the fairy godmother, um, that is not worth it to me, but this is. So I went ahead and purchased it. You can see everything that you will get right here. And it's up to you to decide whether it is worth it to you. I am happy with my purchase. However, this is a personal thing and you do not have to purchase anything in the game to be successful. However, it could enhance your gameplay. So that's where I stand. And also I wanted to be able to show you exactly what you would get. So that is what I've got for you on the hero level stuff. Those new keys can be used right here on this screen. Unfortunately, you can only use one at a time, but this is the only troop I'm missing. Uh, maybe I'll get it on my first key. Huh. And I did! I can't believe it! Ah! <laughs> that was the only one I was missing. That is fantastic luck. Wow. I'm so happy about that. Anyway, that is what I've got for you for now. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!